Hey guys, what up? Aaron here. Um, I've had two good days with Isaac Parks, uh, who you guys might know as Isaac Punts or uh, Punt Factory Carolinas. So um, Isaac's a guy that I met about a year ago now, a little over a year ago. We got some work together as he was finishing up his career 43? at uh, UNC Charlotte. Um, and, you know, he's, a, first of all, a phenomenal young man, phenomenal kid, amazing attitude, extremely positive, 44? just super fun to be around. And if you've <laughs> met him, you know what I mean. Like, he just has an uh, exuberance about him, a passion about him. Um, and, and I can't say enough good things about just how fun it is to work with him. And now, you know, having brought him on to the Punt Factory, um, you know, as a coach, just see how he's working with you guys. So this was actually, I, I think from what Isaac told me, this was actually his first ever private lesson either. First ever private lesson at all. Meaning he's never had or done a private lesson before. Um, you know, he never really had one uh, in high school. He never really had one throughout college. So that's kind of cool to think about, you know, considering he's already coaching you guys. It was really good um, to, to get to work with him over two days. He drove in from from Charlotte. Great so a um, couple things just to see and, and kind of look at what we worked on as you're just watching clips and kind of, you know, give you a little bit of insight into line, how my mind, my mind works. You know, we're trying to prepare him for a potential NFL opportunity, About right? 50. A professional opportunity. So the first couple of things I look at, you know, I want to see how he's warming up. I want to see how he's, you know, dropping the ball. I want to see his routine. Um, 52, you know, I, I really just want to see what he's doing and how he's moving with the ball. Um, you know, um, ball, I, I, I like to see things from like a professional 54, side. I'm not coming in saying how big are you punting? You know, what, what's going on with that? You know, what's your biggest punt? Ball. I just kind of want to see baseline. Where are you at? What are you doing? Um, you know. How are you hitting the ball? What is your thought process? What are you doing in warm-ups? So the whole first, you know, kind of, you know, 30 minutes is just really like, good turn. let me see you doing, really let me see you warm up, let me see how everything's working together. Um, but the kid is Ready? super explosive, super strong. In the very beginning, a couple things we worked on was making sure his uh, swing and his um, rhythm matched, right? So like if he was warming up at like a three speed in rhythm, you know, if he was feeling like, hey, I'm gonna go 30, 40%, I want his swing to go at 30, 40%, right? I don't want him going swinging at six, seven when he's going at a three or four. So in the first couple 45. of clips, you'll kind of see, that's one of the things that we really work on is whatever rhythm you're going, I want that swing to go the same speed. Atta boy. Still 47, 48. Now a couple other things we were working on. Um, so, after that, we were working on his first step, so not his little jab step, but his step with his right foot being a little shorter. Um, he had a tendency to step wide on his right punts and upfield on his left punts. So in my, you know, my philosophy with, with the top guys is always like, even if that step's not going exactly where you want it to go, if it's short, we have some damage control, right? It's not going to take us so far off our line that we're now having to make adjustments in our swing and with our plant. So we were working on that first step, staying kind of small. Um, but you can see on a lot of these balls, he, when he's going left, he's stepping really upfield, you know, towards the snapper. Um, and that's making his plant foot have to open and he's cutting across the ball. 40. And one of the biggest things we worked on this weekend or this, th this couple days was turning his nose in a little bit more when he was going left. And the reason is I, I actually got that tip from Jamie Gillen. Uh, shout out Jamie, Scottish Hammer, uh, my, my boy. Um, you know, if we have a tendency to step upfield a little bit, Right. If we have a tendency um, to step too straight going left, then turning that nose in slightly more. So for, for righties, let's just say that's closer to 1030, maybe even 10, allows us to get a hit a little bit more of the fat of the ball. 50. And just also, if we do step up field and swing across, it kind of helps us, you know, catch up with our swing um, and make sure our swing is going in the right direction. So now you'll see here we're into the second day. You know, he had a good first private day. We're into the second day now. He's working with Bruno Paralicki. Well, your nose so I'll let you guys watch a couple clips and see some of the balls he was hitting. 46. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's the hip. It works. Probably 49.50. Good ball, kid. Fifty-one. I 
I mean, if it's a miss, we're at uh, 42. Hey, so make that adjustment. Now you can Go see right here, left we started really to work some line. like left hash Same punt now. right, right hash punt left. So we're really working on even from the left hash punt right, yeah, keeping a narrow right line going right, making sure we're swinging on a good swing plane right, not stepping too wide so we're going to pull that ball down the middle. Um, but he did a really good job today of, of you know, con being consistent with a narrow line. Okay. It was really good kind of upgrade from yesterday. Forty-seven. Um, we did bring his stance okay. in a little bit too. I thought uh, his stance was a little line. wide. But the balls that he way. typically misses, he steps really wide right. His plant fit will kind of plant back up field, and then he'll cut, the, cut across the ball. You're one of the other big the things, and you can see it there on that clip, I actually think there's a really good sweet also, spot again, for him in terms of his drop height. So there's a couple yeah, balls that he'll perfect. really raise, and if he hits awesome. it, it's obviously really good, right? It's obviously a really 54. good ball if he hits that ball with that ball uh, with the drop above the middle ab. Mm -mm. But I also think it just opens him up like for, for more potential box. problems. Um, it brings his shoulders up. He leans back, falls off the ball, et cetera. So I actually like his shoulders staying a little yeah. bit more forward. Now, he disagreed because he's only hitting four sevens instead of five ones, five twos. Louis but, That's the you know, one. I would make the argument – oh, there's a Louis ball there. I would make the argument that – 55, 4, 7, a bunch of times to the sidelines will get him a job. You know, the occasional 5, 3, 5, 4 Sorry, looks nice, but it doesn't really do absolutely anything. Um, okay. So you'll see here kind of him kind of figuring out that drop height and where it goes. Um, but I like that lower, slightly That's lower drop where he can still explode up, but he is getting uh, downfield and able to get distance. Hell yeah. So phenomenal example, 53, 54. Now, these are a couple balls here at the Boy, end. That I kind of put them in the video in the middle or closer to the middle, but he absolutely tanked these. My hang time was extremely off. They were both easily over 5-1. I think that this second one here is probably over 5-3. Um, oh. He absolutely kills these two. But, yeah, he was raising his drop up a little bit, trying to come up. But but even there, you can see it's not super tall on, on the drop, and he's still able to hit well over you know 5-3. So um, we just really worked on that. But overall, Jesus. what a fantastic two days. A little bit of insight into kind of what we worked on, keeping his shoulders forward, his ball in a better drop position, you know, his line, uh, his rhythm, everything like that. Oh, but as yeah. I said, the kid's an absolute talent. He's a pleasure to be around. I absolutely love having him with 50, me uh, in the Pump Factory. I, I think he does a great job representing the brand. I love his energy. I love his passion. I love his personality. So I look forward to, to, to continuing my, you know, partnership and relationship with him and, um, you know, really kind of getting him involved on the camp side of things, hopefully this fall. So be on the lookout for that, you know, just letting him uh, potentially right run right. his first camp. Um, you know, he's worked a couple with me now, but I, I really think that he's, he's going to do a great job. And uh, like I said, overall, a really good two days. I was excited to kind of share some, some of my insights with wide. you guys on, you know, hunt. what we talk about. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the clips and Here's I'll talk to you guys soon. You're done. 58, 59. Good ball. 59, 58. Literally on the far hill. Your drop was too, so you walk straight, turn that nose in that ball, you can hit it. Yeah, it was like, I thought like I had it weird. It's right, three right. That nose in, bud. Brilliant. 50 outside the bottom, probably to the sideline. Yes, sir. About 55, 56.